This is part three of three. Day five, heading out of Red River Hot Springs. Beautiful scenery, I haven't seen an elk yet, we're only 2.3 miles out of Hot Springs. The Red River Corrals, looks like that'd be fun to backpacker. Just about done with day five. We're on our way down to the falls. That's where the pickup was parked. And come up here, and there's the river right down there. You can see the road down there at the bottom, too. That's where we gotta go. And there's the Selway River, and we follow that all the way up that canyon that came up out of. That would have went to Montana. So we're 102 miles today. I think we've got about eight more to go. And we are going to camp on the Selway on the Idaho side. Some pretty amazing country. Everybody needs to. Everybody needs to come up here and at least do this once. Just for the scenery.
Our first obstacle, day five. Looks like an old tree blew over. Shouldn't take too long to saw that and roll it out of the road. That piece there will probably have to be sawed. That one's definitely gonna have to use the chainsaw. Now it's recording. Look at this. the cellway into day five 108 miles and we are at the end of the road we can go no further this is the last campground I think it might be like 12 miles all the way back out to where the, the highway is and so pretty darn cool best camp spot yet told Patty it might be too loud he might not be able to sleep at all with all that racket. It's our night number five. Yep. Night number five fire. Brother Ralph always said we can't go to bed until we can see at least two stars, and we're seeing one. And at what time is it? Nine o'clock. So it ain't gonna be long now. Nine o five. We'll probably be in bed by nine fifteen. One hundred and eight point five miles today. We are pooped. We've had a couple of toddies. We had bratwurst and potato salad. And yep, ready for bed. Morning day six. Got the ATV wagon unhooked. We're going to day trip it up to right over there. Before you cross the bridge, there's a road to the right. That's Indian Hill and we're gonna go up to that Indian Hill lookout tower today when we get back we'll see how tired we are and maybe we'll cruise on out and maybe go up the cool water road a little ways the cool water tower there's a really cool trough they made up there out of a log they cut the middle of it out and was up there I don't know 15 years ago or so and so so that's what we're gonna try today. So we're just about loaded, and, or I should say we're just about unloaded, and, and uh, we're going to head out of here. What a beautiful day today. 
four miles up Indian Hill. I would guess in the tower, I don't know where. It's gonna go cut up over there somewhere. There's a road on that side, Hill. that might be the same one. You can see the green bridge down there on the sailway. We just kind of made a big loop around so far. And don't see any rafters uh, coming down the canyon. If nobody's ever been on this trip, I would definitely recommend it. You can look all the way up there, and as far as you can see, the Selway River was up through that canyon. This is the Indian Hill Road. We're four miles up, and I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's like 12 up to the Indian Hills Tower, and so... So it won't be long and we'll be up there and we'll video a little up in there. Get all the way up here. I'll show you it to you. Um, Mark over at Spot Mountain, he's, uh, That's a lot of bugs. It is a lot of bugs. Picture of the tower. Yeah, that's a what a view from up here. Holy smoly. About a half a mile down from the Indian Hill, look out. We've got another little observation point right here. And look at all that deep blue. Well, it should be green, but a little bit of smoke. No fires locally up in here, but, but boy, oh boy. Everybody needs to put this on their bucket list. What a sight. I don't know this little camera hearing. The tower is right there in the middle of my picture. I didn't look, but we're, I think we're just right at a, about a half mile down, and it was 13.5 miles to the tower, and it's the road is pretty much a four-wheeler trail, and everything up here, needless to say, is 13 and a half miles right straight up, and now we gotta go right straight back down. Absolutely beautiful up here today. Just enough wind so it's not too hot. And we're heading back down for the subway. About a mile down from the Indian Hill Tower, they got another trough. There's one over there on the cool water side too, but that guy that's manning the tower up there, he ain't got far to go to get some good water. That is really cool. I have to drink, get my drink cup out and fill it up.
It's amazing how much water's up here towards the top of the mountain. This is ten and a half miles up from the main Selway Road. And big natural spring, I would guess. It's got to be natural spring coming out of the hillside. And that's the last of the water. We come up ten and a half miles, and this was the first one. And that last one I just filmed was the drinking one. But boy, yeah, what clean drinking water! I wish that was in my backyard. decided to take a 22 mile ride into the Three Rivers Resort. We thought we would have some cold beers and hamburgers and all they have is a little restaurant. Not just a little restaurant, it's a little deli thing. They serve no food, all the beers to go. Very disappointing. So back to camp and it is 99 degrees out here. It is not a fun day today. My arms are burnt to a crisp and they got rafts over there you can rent. And, but yep, it's pretty darn disappointing for such a fancy place. They used to have a big restaurant up on top and it's all shut down and has been open for two years. And, basically inside to just buy stuff to go and no food at all so I guess we're back to our camp and cooking the 99 degree heat I guess Elk Creek Falls! Selway Falls. The raptors cannot get down through all that mess down through there. So that's just up there where we park the pickup. As far as I can go. What a jungle up through there. Ain't getting no raft down through that. Right there, what a mess. Hey, 
In the day six, 77.4 miles. Back at camp. We got a trail up here that follows the river up. And so we're gonna go for a walk up this canyon for a little ways. We're getting pretty old. But I think I'll have to look up here. I think it says trail 760 if I remember right. Anyway, we're gonna walk up there and see, you got your gun? I might see a grizzly up there. I can run faster than you, so I'm not scared. There's about five or six guys that came up here today and went fishing, and they came back out where we got the Meadow, Meadow Creek Trail 726. So this must be Meadow Creek because just two miles down is where it comes into the cellway. So, so we're not on the cellway. This, I think, is Meadow Creek then. Boy, what a beautiful Meadow Creek. And this trail is beautiful for walking. If anybody's into walking, come up clear as far as you can go on the cellway road. It dead ends and this trail takes off. And it looks like it's gonna wind up going we'll probably go up to that corner right up in there but boy what a beautiful sight if you're into hiking come on up Whew, probably about three quarters of a mile in a little trail come off the main trail there right to the creek so we walked down here I'm gonna Force my face off, it's just sweat pouring down. It's still like 90 degrees out here, even though it's like 5.30, so. But yeah, that's just, like I said everybody needs to put this place on their bucket list. Absolutely beautiful. I was hoping to get, see some big herd of elk and stuff up in there, but I haven't got my eye on anything yet. Say there's a few mountain goats and stuff around too, so. I know I ain't going up there, yeah, that's for sure. Whew, absolutely beautiful. On our way back out, ain't much of a fishing. It'd be some beautiful fishing, but the trail's up so high from the water that right back there where the rocks are is where we were. And that's probably three quarters of a mile in, and other than that, yeah, you're right straight down over the bank. Ain't no way to, ain't no way to get down there to the water unless you're a 20 year old kid. But yeah, beautiful trail for walking. Even for a 66 year old. I think there is a little trail that goes right to that rock there. And, well, I bet they get some beauties out of that pool out there. Nice calm stretch. Morning, day seven. We were gonna do another day trip today. Cool water mountain and uh, cool water tower and yesterday's 100 degree heat just about killed us and now this morning we woke up and it is sprinkling rain so it is like 7 30 in the morning and we are all packed up and heading for the pickup hope everybody enjoyed the ATV in Idaho for the seven days and God willing we'll be able to do it again but for now it is time to leave this most beautiful place boy did we sleep good with that roaring water it was nice